right everybody we are continuing our discussion on heart blocks and we are we have we have already went through the first degree and we've talked about the second degree type one and now we're looking at this one which is a second degree type two This one is worse than either of the two that we've looked at so far. So this one by far is worse. And let me explain why this is worse. So we're again, just as before, we're talking about the way the atrias are communicating with those ventricles. And that, that communication happens between the AV and the bundle of His to send that information down. So we're talking about the junction. We're having issues at the junction between the atrias and the ventricles. So if you look at this, we'll do like we always do. We do our rate. What is our rate on this one? And if you counted it out, you will see that the rate is one, two, three, four. So we have a heart rate of 40, and we've got to look at our rhythm. Tell me about the rhythm. If you look, and we could bounce the ball, the rhythm is regular. Your next step is to look at P waves. So do you have a P wave for every QRS? Yes, you do, but guess what you also have thrown in here? You have extra P waves. Look at that. Every other beat is an extra P wave. Now, it doesn't have to be every other beat. You can have group beatings, like we saw with the second degree type 1, but there's a big key here to understanding why this is considered a type 2 instead of a type 1. When you look, you can say, well, you know, is that really a P wave? Well, if you look at the morphology of this one and compare it against the ones that we know are P waves, yeah, it pretty much looks the same. So what you're doing here is you're dealing with another issue or incident where the QRS is not getting the signal. The signal is not passing from the atria and getting down to the ventricle to create a response. So as a result, we're talking about communication between the atrium ventricles, and that takes place at the AV and the bundle of His. Well, we know that this one is a second degree type two because you're gonna compare the PR interval. When you look at the PR interval here, and you compare it to the PR interval here, you will see that they are identical. There is no difference. So that's something to kind of keep in mind. That's your big identifying key, and that's important. Because when we get to third degree heart blocks, sometimes the third degrees can be misconstrued as second degrees. And it's all about the PR interval when it does interact with the QRS. As long as the PR interval is consistent when it hits, and it is, you can do the comparison, then you know that it's a second degree type two. Now why is this worse? The reason why the second degree type two or the second degree, um, second degree AV block, second degree type two AV block, is because the electricity is only getting through every other beat. So the communication is becoming worse. So we used the analogy before about the husband and wife. If you think about it, let's say the husband comes home and he's got his paycheck and life is grand. He's, he's coming home on time. But when he gets his paycheck, he goes out and spends it at the bar. So now, not only is he impacting their relationship, but what's the biggest reason why people divorce? It's always about the money. So, <laughs> suddenly it's no longer just about the relationship. He is coming home when he gets, or he's, excuse me, he's not coming home when he gets paid. He's taking all that money and he's going to the bar and he's drinking it away. So we have not only impacted the relationship, but now we're impacting the money to sustain them as a couple. So that makes it worse. 
This is the second degree type two. We'll see you on the third degree.